So we have got our center there. This is center O. Oh, we have got a point here, that's point A. So I can draw a straight line there. And then we have got point B. And then AB is a chord. And there's a line which goes like this. So this is point B. Allow me to use the different color. So, okay, based on the question, right, it says that AB is equal to, sorry, AE is equal to EB, and they are both equal to 6. So that's 6, and this is 6. And DE is equal to 2, so that will be 2. And this point here is point E. Okay. Furthermore, we are told that if the radius of the circle is x centimeters, calculate the numerical value of x. Okay. So if the radius is x, okay, what would be the value says if the radius of the circle is x centimeters? Okay. So it means that the length of the radius, remember, all a sorry, all a is the radius and all b is the radius. And also, uh, AO is a radius. Furthermore, OD is a radius, but ED is equal to 2, which means OE is going to be equal to X minus 2. Okay? Okay, please be aware of that. The radius is X, so if D is 2, it means OE is going to be X minus 2, not X plus 2. Okay. All right. So we are trying to find the value of x here. Okay. So to carry on, I will do it this way. First, I will write that AE is equal to EB, and this is given. I, I can write the, the dimensions if I want to. So that would be six. Okay, based on the question, that will be 6 centimeters. So this is given. Okay? Then, I'll also say, now, since we don't have a 90 degree angle here, we don't have a 90 degree angle there, my suggestion is to use uh, the converse of theorem 1. Line from center to midpoint of course. So, I'm going to say, I'm going to say AB is perpendicular okay, to OD. My reason, line from center. Because for me to use the theorem of Pythagoras here, I need to say why this angle here is 90, or well, that one is 90, or that one is 90, or that one is 90. Why is AB perpendicular to OD? It's based on the converse of theorem 1. Line from center to mean point of court. It's not indicated in the question as to whether the two are perpendicular. So I need to prove that they are perpendicular using the converse of theorem one. So line from center to mean point of court. Okay. Then once I have that, okay, I think you want to analyze therefore. If I'm gonna use say triangle or E B. You can say all E B is equal to 90 degrees. So angle all E B is equal to 90 degrees. It is equal to 90 degrees because I've written the reason why A B is perpendicular to all this based on the converse of theorem one. Let me warn you, those who are not paying attention. Next term your heartbeat might increase. Okay? If you are not careful. Because You'll be doing two of the most challenging topics in in, uh, in grade 11 and in grade 12. You think the second geometry that I move on to grade 11 and three. Okay? So do yourself a favor and pay attention because all this is going to come back next year. And at the end of the year, it will come back and write the final paper. Alright, so I've got that. Now I can use the theorem of Pythagoras. It is your choice. To choose the triangle, you can choose A or E or you can choose O E B. So I'm gonna choose 
or it be in triangle, or it be, right? If I use the theorem of Pythagoras, my OB is the radius, okay? It's going to be the longest, the hypotenuse, so it will be OB squared. It's going to be equal to OE squared plus EB squared. And this is Pythagoras. Okay? Then you substitute. This is x, and my OE is x minus 2 all squared. My EB is going to be 6 squared. So I'll get x squared equal to, all right, I'm not going to go back to the basics of simplifying x minus 2 all squared. You should know that we get a perfect square trinomial, and that perfect square trinomial will be x squared minus 4x plus 4 plus 36. Then, if I take this x squared to the left, it will cancel out with that. So I can just take the minus 4x to the left, okay? These two are going to cancel out, okay? Then I'll, I'll equate that to 40. What that means is my x is going to be 10 centimeters. Okay, so you can say therefore the radius is 10 centimeters. Radius is equal to 10 centimeters. Okay, then I'm done. Right, so this is what you are supposed to get done. Right, if you look at the question, it's seven marks. If you look at the mark allocation. So, you have to to write down lots of things, statements and reasons and so on. You won't, you won't easily get all those seven marks. You have to show all your working out. Okay? Where you're supposed to write statements and their reasons, you must do so. Yeah. 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 So the x minus 2 confuses me. How do you know the way you know it? 